Raffia. Have a go. Yeah, nitrogen's felt wrong and so is atmosphere. OK. Everyone should be thinking now about the next word they're going to use and how they're going to structure that sentence. is in the... Most of the strategies that I use, obviously, are based on uh, keywords, definitely. Um, most of the, the girls um, find it uh, find a problem to actually spell properly. And I know that some of the keywords um, are quite a problem. In science, I think we put more meaning into what's the meaning of that word instead of how do you spell that word. Structuring sentences is definitely um, one problem that, I, that my, my girls have. And um, so calling them up and making sure that they think about how they're going to structure the sentences um, helps a lot in the class. I, I like using visual aids because then they can, it makes it easier if they have a visual cue in their head and they can actually um, put words to it. Discussion, okay. reading, um, knowing that they have to use dictionaries, not only generic dictionaries, but also scientific dictionaries, um, modeling the right sentences, obviously getting other girls that are more proficient in English to model the right answer. Um, what do plants need to make their food? What are some of the things plants need? Um, let's go to table one. Noir, what do plants? What are some of the things plants need to make their food? Plants need carbon dioxide. Okay, carbon dioxide. Maggie, what else do they need? Um, water. Ah, very good. They need water. But during the first part of the lesson, the pupils have already actually reviewed their understanding of the three processes: um, photosynthesis, respiration, and combustion. Um, they have started to recognise some common features of the processes, um, such as chemical elements involved and the transfer of carbon dioxide. Let's have some from table three. What are the products? Yes, Jessica. Glucose. Glucose. There's something else. And uh, I'm going to ask Jody. And oxygen. And oxygen. Very good. Now, this part of the lesson is to summarise the girls' ideas and highlight the way carbon is cycled through these processes of photosynthesis, respiration and combustion and to reinforce their understanding of scientific terminology using published articles. Well, at this point in the lesson, the pupils are actually going to extend the flow diagram and they're going to use the statements they have previously underlined. This will obviously help the pupils develop a better understanding of the processes. You can use other books if you want. You don't have to. You can use other books, you can use um, dictionaries. But I think, personally, that this is enough. Carbohydrates and then other substances like protein. <laughs> Read it. The pupils' discussions of the statements and how they are related to the flow diagram helps them visualise how the three processes are linked. This helps them to explain the processes using the correct terminology and also improve their recall skills in preparation for their end of key stage three tests. By what? What's the process? What's that word? We have no idea. How does it? What's the process whereby um, it's it takes in carbon dioxide, the plant takes in carbon dioxide. It's a process, it's a name for it. Photosynthesis, yes. Let's have the answer and why you said that's the answer. I want you to ex explain to me why that's the answer. Go on, Allah. Um, it's photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. What in that diagram tells you that it's photosynthesis? Because the plant's taking it in. And the plant's taking yeah. it in? The gas is taking okay. what in? Taking it? What's it? The, 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 the carbon dioxide. Very good. Taking the carbon dioxide in. No, wow. Question two. What's the answer and why? It's respiration because uh, plants respire after they have taken carbon dioxide. They respire. Uh, what, by the way, what do, they, what do they give out when they respire? Uh, oxygenated water. What do they give out when they respire? Carbon dioxide. I just wanted to think. Because we started with yeah, photosynthesis. Yeah. So when they're respiring, like us, what do they give out? Carbon dioxide, very good. What sentence should I write on the board? OK, very good. Keywords, Miski? Carbon dioxide and respiration. 
And for number one? Girls, oops, I spelled it wrong. Girls, well done. Keywords. You need to have them down, girls, because next week we're going to go through this again using those keywords.